This is the settlement, oh, town, village, Ten Tel Mond in central Israel. It was founded by the British industrialist and philanthropist Alfred Mond in the 1920s. Alfred Mond was a person of German extraction. His parents were both immigrants into the United Kingdom and Alfred um, grew up uh, in quite easy uh, surroundings. His fa family's wealthy to send him to Cambridge where he failed his chemistry exams but he went on to study law at Edinburgh University and at Edinburgh he uh, passed his exams and on the, uh, being called to the bar he decided not to be called to the bar and he went into working his father's uh, chemical company. In fact, he did so well there that he was able to, through policies of uh, uniting chemical companies, he founded Imperial Chemical Industries in 1926. He was a philanthropist. He gave money to things like the Royal H Chelsea Hospital and others. And uh, he also founded this town, he bought the land uh, here in Telmond to, to found a, uh, a Jewish settlement here in the uh, 1920s. Now, he was a person who didn't regard his Jewishness as being particularly important. In fact, uh, his wife wasn't Jewish and none of his children were brought up in a Jewish surroundings. But he seemed to have gone through some kind of uh, um, realisation about the time of the First World War, either just before or just after it, as to what the, the, the level of racism that existed within the Russian Empire. So much so that he chose to actually put money into this. He became quite a, a convinced Zionist as a, as, as, as a result of this. Now, with this uh, uh, conversion of his, he gave money to, uh, to, this, uh, to the settlement. Also, he, uh, being an astute businessman, he founded a um, citrus company and um, was no doubt uh, he got some of his money back that way uh, from doing it. The statue here, which is meant to be, I don't know, of him, carved in 1934, uh, a time when Jewish immigration to Palestine had restarted. Immigration in the late 1920s had uh, become negative. There was more people leaving than there were coming here. The life here was extremely difficult. And but after what happened with the Nazis coming to power, things somewhat changed. And it was more difficult for the Nazis than trying to live an agricultural existence here. Alfred Mond died in 1930 at the age of 62. And there is, in, here in Telmond, there is a little uh, house uh, which uh, has a museum of his life.